Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I sound like a robot. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Virgo. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. It's going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages for the March 1st to the 7th, 2019. And of course, it does this around there. If you check your moon, your rise, your Venus on. And remember, this is a general message. So, if you want a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link below. Okay, by the way, you also, you guys can um, check me out on Instagram if you want. I have the link below as well. All right, Virgo, what's going on, Virgo's uh, energies for the romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th, 2019? Okay, ready. Something to do surrounding a decision of some sort or some kind of movement towards a decision, or you could be dealing with cutting something out. This is very fast moving energy. So Knight of Swords are quick. They're fast. They, they move fast, man. All right. They could also be dealing with an air sign person, which would be a, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And then we got, we got you guys, earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So uh, something moves quickly towards you. Abs absolutely. And uh, maybe it's something to do with a new path and long-term commitment or something to do with um, a message of long-term commitment. Hmm, okay, and looks like this fast-moving energy is because someone has gained some kind of strength or courage to come towards you. Uh, this also can be a Leo energy with the strength card. Um, and again, we got this air sign person who's being patient uh, they're trying to use their head. They're trying to analyze. They're trying to wait things out to see what happens because queens are all about patience. They, they have all the information before they make that decision. Um, and again, it's an air sign person, which would be a Gemini. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay, so let's, let's give it an overall here. All right, so Knight of Swords. So this knight doesn't look too happy. But anyway, something is being cut out, looks like, when it pertains to something to do with passion or something is being communicated very quick, quickly when it comes to passions, strength, and courage here. Definitely a lot of thinking with your head over your heart on this one pertaining to, to passion because the passion card is like in between these two sword energies here. Hmm. And everyone's kind of looking to this... this uh, Leo energy. Okay, so let's keep it moving. I'll, I'll put some clarity on that. That's interesting. Definitely a lot of communication for sure. I mean, we got the queen. I mean, queens and knights uh, of swords are all about, you know, using their intelligence and their analyzing and their thinking and their, you know. So let's kind of see what's going on here. So what's going on with Virgo's uh, love interest or who they're here for, for their romantic love life for the 1st of uh, March to the 7th of March, 2018. Okay. Hmm. Some kind of confusion or hidden peril here with the moon card. All right. Something to do with some kind of disputes or arguments with the five of wands or something surrounding competition. Hmm. Something to do with someone wanting to fulfill their wishes. Nine of Cups. Hmm. And something to do with the King of Swords energy. Uh, wow, even the King of Swords energy is over here. Wise decisions uh, when it comes to thinking, analyzing. All right, so let me just see here what's going on. All right. So we got something going on here with your love interest or the person you're here for they're kind of confused about what their options are here they want to fulfill their wishes and they they want to make wise decisions um this time and they, or they need to make a decision over some of the options that they have that they're confused about that's going to fulfill their wishes okay and what's going on with you you're kind of just like all right we'll just make a decision already or you know make this quickly get this done quickly you know, you may be saying harsh words to this person because you're a bit irritated about them being confused about what they want to do here. If it's not them that's doing this, it's you that's that's having to look at your options. But I kind of feel that it's more your partner that's having to look at options and they're a bit confused about that want to fulfill their wishes and you're kind of frustrated with 
the fact that you have to sit here being patient and kind of wait it out for this communication, for this thing to be cut out, for the option to be chose, for you to control your passions towards a situation. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Okay, so what brings Virgo and their love interest or whoever they're here for together romantically from March 1st to the 7th, 2019? What brings them together romantically? Okay, so obviously this is you. You're the earth sign person here. So you being patient, you allowing uh, this thing to kind of like, you know, work itself out. It looks like this will bring you together romantically because this represents an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And queens are patient. So be motherly, be nurturing, be supportive. And this, this energy will bring everyone together here. So let's do some clarification and then we'll see what's going on with the device and what divides you guys so let's see what's going on all right why is the knight of swords here 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 okay so maybe there's some kind of marriage or long-term commitment here and you're a bit frustrated because of that uh and then you got the knight of swords something to do with cutting something out something fast moving communication definitely a fast moving uh communication with this knight of swords uh possibly even harsh communication why is the page of pentacles here why is the page of pentacles here okay so the page of pentacles here is because someone's indecisive we see that over here with someone being confused about their options and you're just like hurry up make a decision already all right why is the strength card here why is the strength card here could be a Leo we're dealing with. This represents happiness as well. So someone to, something to do with someone having courage and something surrounding their passions, controlling their passions, and something surrounding them being happy. And then you look over here, it's, it's, it's pertaining to fulfilling this person's wishes. And why is the Queen of Swords here? And why is the Queen of Swords here? movements so you're being patient or analyzing the situation when it comes to movement and love knight of cups so let's look over here why is the and by the way the moon energy can also represent pisces why is the moon energy here for the uh the partner why is the moon energy here or for the love interest why is the moon energy here yeah see i said it could represent a pisces um it could be a cancer scorpio or pisces so some kind of wise decisions because this person's confused why is the five of rods here there may be a new opportunity on the horizon for some kind of passion here ace of wands and why is the nine of cups here why is the nine of cups here So this person wants to fulfill their wishes and they want to move into calmer waters. And why is the King of Swords here? Something surrounding a decision, a communication about a decision with the Page of Swords. And why is the Queen of Pentacles here for bringing these guys together? Hmm. So this will definitely bring, bring if you guys are separated, it will bring a reconciliation that someone's going to have to wait to gain perspective. So there's going to be a little bit of a patience involved here, a little bit of waiting for things to come back together here with you guys. Let's see what divides you. So what divides Virgo, someone rising a Venus sign, and their love interest for March 1st to the 7th, 2019? What divides these two? Show me the card you see. Show me the card you see. <sighs> Too much waiting around. Seven of Pentacles is going to to divide the situation because they're you're waiting around someone's waiting around for a choice a decision now who what other sign was it that was it leo or i think gemini leo or gemini and aries for sure some so check those signs as well so let me get some advice for virgo so what advice do you have for Virgo, someone arising to sign for the, the week of the 1st to the 7th for the romantic love life? What advice do you have for them? Show them the card they need to see. Show them the card they need to see. Show them the card they need to see. So it's saying you have to give this relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. So as I said, you are the one that's going to bring these this situation together, actually, because as you see, you're coming out. It's an earth sign person coming out here. 
with bringing these people together romantically. So you're going to be the one that's going to bring this together romantically. Somehow you have to uh, be patient, be motherly, be nurturing, not motherly, but be nurturing in the situation. Try to be patient. Um, it will come together. Uh, you can work on this partnership together and make it work. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Also, if this has resonated with you or you want more information about your own situation, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the link below. And also, guys, check me out on, on Instagram and Facebook and some of the other spreads that I have for you, Virgos. Thank you guys so much. I love you.